You know what I remember, honestly? So I played these games back, you know, when they were being made, no. and I was a child at the time, to be fair, but I don't remember there being any easier back then. No, they were always really jank because of the the awkward platforming. I mean, Tomb Raider was like this, too. I don't know if you've played the original Tomb, Tomb Raider lately, but it does not you know hold up at all. You know, it's actually really sad. Uh, Josh was like, you know, uh, I'm just trying to use, like, Tomb Raider, and I'm like, wow. When I saw this, I'm like, this reminds me a lot of Red Guard. <laughs> I can see that. And it's a it did it! it Wait, did it, for it us. did it! Like <laughs> we didn't add that. That was in the game. What the fuck? Okay, I thought you oh, died no, just now. That would have been hilarious. <laughs> we lost our hat, which is not good. Yep. No, oh, no, I think didn't. you need to. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we've just, or we've just got a spare hat hidden down our basket. Just got like six hats hidden in our pants. Yep. Oh. Uh... That's why it's so rumpled. <laughs> Aha, Mr. Jones. Now we see that there's nothing hey. you can own, which I. I'm sorry. Your your hat smells like dick. Is there a reason? <laughs> so what did that? I just, so just I, I love. Okay. It's it's purely, it, it like the stills the Indiana Jones approached archaeology where like he sees a dead body and some gold and his response isn't like let's figure out what happened here it's like hey <laughs> some gold <laughs> I can flip this for fifty dollars. I'm gonna eBay this some bitch. Okay, well we probably can't get up that way. What's over here? Um, well, that's what's over there. By the way, I just did the math, and $150 in, let's say, 1938 uh, would have been $2,671. Oh, it's 1946? Really? Yeah, there was part of the cutscene that we missed because it was all broken. Is like, oh, the World War II is over, and we're in Utah. Okay. Like, every... We made about... Maybe... maybe Ten minutes, I get a reminder that we're playing this in the Jedi Knight engine. Yeah, that water is very Funny Jedi Knight. I didn't spot this before. If this is the prize, so, so far we've made about two thousand sure. dollars. Where are the priceless artifacts? The gilded idols? The crowns of kings? Really leaning into that, like, hey, I'm actually just a fucking grave robber, treasure hunter. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about archaeology. You yeah. lose your grant. You lose your grant unless you find. King's crowns and there. glorious golden treasure. That's how you know that you're working with the legit archaeology association. Let us continue to deface this dig site and ruin it horribly. <laughs> yeah, if that helicopter's gonna start following us like a combine chopper oh. and like uh -huh. attacking us with machine guns, I'm just gonna say we're fucking dead. <laughs> I don't think you got the moves. Padre. But we the have unlimited ends, ammo. The game ends on a fucking seesaw puzzle. <laughs> a seesaw Half-Life puzzle no. in the hat, like the Jedi Knight engine. They tried to do that for. Um, you ever played Star Wars Droid Works? I did actually. That was a game that that was specifically about teaching like basic physics and. They use the Jedi Knight engine, which did not have a physics system. That game was hard as balls. Please jump. Thank you. Now where are we? Utah, still. Josh, don't you know anything? You can't catch a ledge if there's a slight slope. It's impossible. God damn. Oh, shit. All right. This is extremely safe. <laughs> I can't wait. Highly recommended for archaeologists to do is to do that. I also uh, love how we're uh, bitching about not having enough grant money when there's literally a skeleton lying on the ground clutching a sapphire directly to our left. 
Yeah, and it was worth, um, like, 40 bucks. <laughs> like, this game came out, like, uh, when when the 90s, exactly? Like, 98? 96 or 7 96? or something? I yeah. think I do think it was, like, 2001. No, it, it would have had to have been, like, 97, 98. Cause yeah, I do this think game, it was 2000. Th th this video game came out in 1999. Okay, yeah, oh so that was God. two years before the concept of ludonarrative sonance was invented. This game came out a year after Half-Life. That Finding an illusory ceiling. Oh, so I was joking about, like, a, I, I said have a combat helicopter, what but there was we... just, like, a helicopter that would fly around and try to kill you in Half-Life 1. So, like, that was already happening when this game came out. No. <laughs> this would look Clips really fucking dire snakes in comparison. A little sketchy. Wait, when was this? When did you say this came out again? What year? 1999. Did I? I gotta say, this actually is really clunky looking for 1999. Yeah. Like this looks. I don't think it was bad. terribly well received at the time. Would have Actually, been the surprising thing all is... these glossy gaming publications with the high caliber of wit that was associated with late 90s gaming magazines. Infernal Machines, <laughs> more like it's a turd. See, now I can't tell. Were you quoting an actual publication what? there? <laughs> we if I was right quoting an actual the publication, Jeep. they would have included a reference to the game's heaving bosoms. Oh my god, it's a lady! Indy. Been a while. Sophia oh, so Hapgood? What brings you out west? Hap Some good? psychic premonition what? about the treasures I have a question. My, look at what? How did, okay. how did that jeep it's get here? It's new thinking in archaeology. Find some worthless debris, analyze it, understand prehistory. Kind of noble, don't you think? <laughs> There's an iron curtain coming down <laughs> here. <laughs> what kind of artifact? Worthless <laughs> debris. <laughs> worthless debris? What the fuck is that? We need your help. Uh-huh. Who's we? When I joined this is so war, fucking stupid because, like, now, if you're gonna have an Indiana Jones game, you don't reference actual archaeology just to, like, say, what a bunch of dumb losers doing actual archaeology. It's my job to worry about more. What if Indiana Jones is actually a giant scumbag? Like, that's going, out of, <laughs> like, that's going oh, out of your way to be a dick. It's like if you had a doctor, it, like, who, it, like you're adapting a TV drama about a doctor who's saving lives every episode. And someone comes up to a doctor in your video game and is like, what, you're giving people medicine and, like, checking up on their charts and doing checkups? You should be performing surgery on the president's butthole. Jesus. But what's a guy like that doing in Babylon? Not sure. All we really know is he thinks the atom bomb is a joke. Then why isn't the world laughing? Indeed. But it's 1946. The Everybody thinks the atom bomb is no not a joke murder. anymore because we used it. No, he, it's like he thinks it's not powerful compared to something else he has. Not discussed in the good book. Exactly. It's an amusing theory, but as you he thinks see, that the Babylonians have a super weapon more powerful than the atom bomb. Just to relieve your boredom, I hope. This came from the Russian dig site. Uh, somebody made a mistake. This looks like part of a steam engine, maybe a locomotive from the last century. There's no mistake. We've dated the thing. It's 2,600 years old. Really? Look at that little wheel spin. You I know, I, I have to wonder what kind of scam... <laughs> it, what, what kind of scam is Indiana Jones running if he has a grant, but instead of spending that money on interns and grad students and an actual archaeology dig, he just fucks off to Utah and steals stuff to sell on eBay? Like, Let it's me just, tell it's, you a little bit about how academia works. You will find I mean, that uh, more often than not, this is more true because it is extremely difficult to hire people and it is very easily to just cut, like, just write off something that you purchased. So, yeah. Thanks I would like, for leaving your Jeep! I would like to start an expedition to Utah to steal sapphires. I require $5 in funds to buy bullets to shoot snakes with. I really have no idea if this is even getting captured in the recording I'm doing with Bandicam, but if it's not, I'm staring at a Windows menu system here. We are if you're, doing this, if you're not terrible. doing buy equipment. If you're this not doing terrible display capture, in 1999. I don't think, I don't think you, it is. So. 
What did this look like in the N64 version? Probably worse. I'll, I'll load up a Let's Play. All right, cool. We're going to Iraq. Counter Strike came out in 1999. This is post Half Life. Babylon. Yeah. A lot of mud yeah, there was already like skater. really Hello. solid Russian. platformers on consoles. Excuse me. I I have a I have a, a point to make. Iraq is really flat. Like it's just all river valley. Uh, where did these fucking mountains come from? Oh, come on. Pepsi Man came out this year. Actually, Pepsi Man looked better than this game. Why can't I jump? Oh. Why do we dump ourselves in the most inconvenient part of the ruins? <laughs> it's always the question. Let me up! Oh my god. I assume... See, it doesn't want to climb these half-height walls. There we go, wow. okay. Wow, I'm, I'm looking at a PlayStation long play of Pepsi Man, like the promotional game promoting that, Pepsi. Wait, fucking... And it legit Hang works on. better than this. Are those Egyptian hieroglyphs? It's not probably. cuneiform. What the fuck? Josh, yeah, they looked like they had six pixels and the no budget. Did this game, <laughs> and not a single fuck in the entire department. Yeah, Josh, you might be the first person to notice that. <laughs> So I'm making the mistake of reading the IGN review of this game from 1999, oh, and I'm finding some it. facts. Let's hear them. Quote, Before we continue with the review, a special note. Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine cannot be bought in retail stores. You can, however, purchase the game through an online author at Blockbuster Video's website. This could be End quote. HQ. <laughs> Blockbuster Video's website? I'm sure that's still there. This could be Volodnikov's HQ. Yes, it could be, but what if we opened this it to This could be Volodnikov's HQ. Blockbuster.com still exists uh, because they have a partnership with Dish. Uh, but I'm, I'm currently, like, I've clicked on a blank space on the window, and I'm typing, Give me Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, please, 1999. And it's not giving me any results. <laughs> maybe I should, maybe I should the cover archive. hotline. Uh, for Blockbuster licensing inquiries, please contact. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I don't know. I might get dish service uh, with Blockbuster. TM, but if they don't have Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, it is a deal breaker. So, I'm it's reading really like, the only place you can you can find it. Oh, okay, here we go. It uh, sounds like the N64 would like this. This is I, I forgot. This is from an era where ports were not like ports. Like not everything was built on OpenGL and What the fuck is that accent? It's it's a it's a not at all Russian guy doing a Russian accent. <laughs> I'm just decoding the message, sir. I'm searching it's for two Martin, of them. a creature the Babylonians worship as a god. That's a really bad but he model. doesn't live in heaven, just on another plane. What kind of? I like that they're in the... Soviet or American. <laughs> what <laughs> it, it's another dimension. I love that little <laughs> animation loop of him walking. Careful, oh, it's so good. When questions of ideology arise. They often conceal doubts about methods and results. In four ministers, we're making excellent progress, all according to plan. We know the true story Sorry, please is waiting this. in the room of the tablets. No, I'm just, I, this is from an era where ports were tower. actually pretty substantially uh, different between platforms. Uh, and apparently the PC version uh, came out first, uh, but sucked. And the uh, N64 version was apparently way better, in part because it stole a bunch of design implementation details from uh, The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. So it had like Z-Lock on when fighting enemies instead of the crappy thing you're doing by tapping the turn buttons to try and 
find the stupid uh, snake. Um, and, in, and instead of having to, like, go to the pause menu to change weapons, you could use the C buttons, which is another Zelda thing, so... I, I can put press the number keys, I just haven't figured out which number key does which weapon very well yet, so... Also, it's really hard to tell when you've got fists selected. Quite an operation the Russians have going here. Makes me jealous. The site is crawling with guards. I better steer clear. The only part of this that looks even remotely like Babylon is that Holy. glazed crawling brick with gate guards. there. Which okay. Sorry, I don't mean to interrupt again. Constructed in the British Museum. If you wanted to buy the N sixty four version of this game, how much do you think it would cost? New eighty dollars. Wow. Fifty nine ninety nine. 120. What? 100 bucks? Higher. Oh, wait. I, uh, wait, like buy it now? Yes. Oh, uh, $250. $250. Higher. Oh my god. 1200. Higher. $120? Oh, oh my god. god. $9,000? Lower than that. 5000. So saying it it's under 9000. It would cost there there is currently a listing on Amazon. For this game, new in box, probably shrink wrapped, for eighteen hundred and three dollars, as low as a hundred and fifty dollars a month for twelve months if you use your Amazon credit card. Oh my God! You could buy the fucking Millennium Falcon Lego set that came out last year for less than that. Yep, eight hundred dollars <laughs> for the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> I like going down to the frequently bought together. The, the, the frequently bought together is the eighteen hundred dollar Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine N sixty four cartridge, a uh, new in box, and a Star Wars Battle for Naboo, which adds to your eighteen hundred dollar purchase fifty dollars. <laughs> I wonder it's if an you add -on could build an N sixty four cartridge with like the ROM for this game for cheaper than you could buy it new. Probably? eBay is painful. eBay is pretty painful to, <laughs> to view. Uh, for like, cause the only thing I ever go there for is if there's a like a tabletop role playing game that was really obscure, that only ever like got a release on like student press in 1976 or something. No, not actually 1976. They're all from 1977 or later, but. Okay, in fairness, if I, 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 that was an Amazon listing. If I go to eBay, oh. um, there is an Indiana Jones Infernal Machine new in box for only 750 bucks. Okay, oh, that's, well, much that's much yeah. more reasonable. Uh, where's my I'm just blow like, how much of like a collector's this month's item Patreon money and a bit extra. And we'll just get that and I'll blow some more and money to fly up to Spokane Don't... and steal my brother's N64. Uh. That that really, you know, that experience is worth it in and of itself. It's just intrinsically fun. Okay, I, I was I was looking at, at Amazon listings. When did we... Oh, that's not ice. That's spiderwebs. Okay. I'm, I'm catching up with the, the video feed here. Come on. Yeah, okay. Uh, the platforming in this game... Oh! It's the spiders that are infamously... Extremely dangerous in Iraq for some reason, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Shoot the spiders. There's nothing else you can do. That. Yeah, the platforming in this game is like not the most miserable time I've ever had with a game from the 90s, I'll say that. Oh, that's which good. is weird. Like, what, is, what is the most miserable time you've had with platforming in oh, a game shit. from the 90s? Excuse me. Uh, oh. Is this I don't know. Oh, no, I did not want to put my gun down. Hey. But you do, actually, because you, you're bitten by a snake, so you need to use a snake bite kit. Look what I found. You're going to pick up another one right there. So. Yep. Come back here. Wait. Wait for me. I'm in Indiana yeah. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!
All right, what was that? I guess, uh, I guess there's no. You need to use the snake bite kit, gosh. I guess there's technically no reason why you can't just run into the camp firing at all times, right? If you don't run out of ammo. Apparently not. I mean, this is a revolver that. Oh. Okay, well, he can shoot me from there, but I can't shoot him from there, so we're gonna. See, this is where lock on feels like it would make a lot of help. What was that fucking combat roll there, dude? <laughs> combat roll into a bullet. Oh, that's cool. Your health goes all the way to black. I have, like, I am not in enough shape that I can do a combat roll of some kind, but if I could, I have every confidence that I would get hit by a bullet mid-roll, regardless of whether <laughs> anyone was shooting or whether there was a gun anywhere nearby. Can I pick up these guns? That's oh, fine cool. A gun. I, I, actually, I, did, I do exercise the... Can I dual wield the guns? No. Did did Indiana Jones ever use an automatic in the, the original trilogy? I don't think so. Oh. All right. Hey. First aid. Yes, he did. Oh, when? Um, when he was uh, captured by Nazis in the uh, Last Crusade, and they escape from the burning fireplace, and he grabs the, like, I don't know what German gun that is on the table, and shoots, like, a bunch of them, and he's like, that's why, whatever, Dad. I can't remember the setup for the joke, but... Oh, right. Oh, yeah. Yes, who could forget yeah, the you can, yes, he's, he does use an Harrison Ford quote. I mostly meant, like, why, does he use... Whatever, Dad. I, I mostly meant, like, does he use a, an automatic pistol? Some medicine. Oh, I don't think so. Which, uh, he, he uses a Walther, apparently, at some point, uh, which makes sense, but never, like, a 19... Like, it kind of looks like we picked up a 1911, not that that makes any sense for, like, Russian soldiers to be using. I mean, does it even make any sense for Russian soldiers to be here? No, I they were in the, Afghanistan the in the 60s. Partitioning with the Middle East was like largely. 40s. Yeah. Okay, actually, I guess it, I guess it could Please be a Tokarev. I'm doing a little research here. Let us critique this game on its gun accuracy above all other factors. 